Hi there, welcome back to the playlist or welcome to the playlist if you're just joining. We're going to finish off the playlist on LinkedIn by looking at how you can use it to search for jobs. LinkedIn has a built-in job search function that more and more companies, more and more organizations are using to advertise their jobs so it can be quite useful to add it to your rotation of things that you're checking for jobs when you're looking for roles. Now like I said in the last video it can be useful to look at alumni from Manchester who studied your course to see where they actually ended up. That can give you a sense of what type of job the kind of graduate you are might go for. Doesn't mean that you have to go for this by any means but it can give you some ideas if you are struggling to figure out what it is you want to pursue. Now LinkedIn and the job search function does require you to have a little bit of an idea what you're interested in, what kind of job title you're actually going to pursue. If you're not sure about this, we'd advise first going to the which career pages. This can help you research a few different things, give you some ideas, but also booking a careers appointment. You can do that by going to our website, going on Career Connect, booking an appointment with us. We are more than happy to chat through what your options are, what you're thinking about at the moment, to help clarify your ideas so that you can do this, so that you can figure out what you want to apply to and then pursue it, whether it's through LinkedIn or any other job website. Now, using the job search feature, it's very much like any other. It can suggest roles that it thinks are directly matched to what you've already entered into on your profile, but you can also search by job title, by job family, all the other things that you might think about in an ordinary job website or job board. If this is something you're a bit not sure about, we do have a playlist that's completely dedicated to job hunting and I'd advise having a look at that because all of the strategies and all of the tips that we share in that playlist are just as valid for LinkedIn and the job search feature here. As you'll see on the screen, gives you an idea of what the job actually is. Usually this is copy and pasted straight from the employer's own website and you'll have a link to apply to that role on the page. Key thing to remember, LinkedIn's job search feature is very useful like any other job search. However, it's not something to rely on. You need to be doing a little bit of lots of different things. So yes, absolutely, use LinkedIn's job search it can be really helpful. Thing to remember, use other ones as well. Do a little bit of networking. Use this as one part of an overall strategy. And like I said, if that's something you're not particularly sure about, go to the job hunting playlist on YouTube on our channel. It's really helpful and goes into a lot of how to use these job search tools really effectively. And to round off, there are a few other things that it can be really helpful to keep in mind when you are using LinkedIn. And the first one is actually use Google in concert with LinkedIn. Use it at the same time. Google is that little bit more powerful than the LinkedIn search function. And often it can bypass some restrictions. So for example, you can connect with people maybe easier through clicking a link on to a profile through Google than through LinkedIn. So if you're struggling to find something or you just want a little bit more of a powerful or more user-friendly way of searching LinkedIn, use Google first. Google whatever you are searching and then put LinkedIn in addition in the search bar. Can find up a lot more results and sometimes more quickly as well. It can also be a good idea on LinkedIn to follow companies and organizations once you've got a sense of what it is you want to do, the kind of job or even the kind of employer you're interested in, you can follow them and they will post updates, one of which can be when they have roles available, when their graduate schemes open, those kinds of things. So it can be really worthwhile to follow the organizations and companies that you're particularly keen on working for or working with. Similarly, you can follow hashtags. So you could follow specific things that you know you're interested in, in a professional setting, that you know you would be interested in seeing what's going on. On the screen, we've got an example. If you're interested in working in sustainability, you might want to follow that particular term for whenever it's mentioned. Maybe if roles are mentioned that are being recruited for, etc. It's also a good idea on LinkedIn to join some groups of like-minded people, so people in a particular industry that you're pursuing, or interest group, whatever it might be. 
these things are easy ways of getting involved in LinkedIn without having to think really carefully about what you're posting, what you're putting on there. That is a way to do it. This is a more low key, maybe easier way to do it. And then the last few tips that I want to share. First of all, it's a professional platform. You have to think quite carefully about what you post on there. So you're not wanting to share loads of things about your personal life. You might not even want to be that active. It is completely up to you what you post on there and you are not expected to constantly post. You can if you want, but that's not really a requirement. All you really need to do is log on semi-regularly, like posts, maybe read a bit on there and follow some organizations. It is a way to be active and visible. That is one way people use it, but a lot of the power is in the research and the networking. If that's all you used it for, that would be absolutely fine as well. Which brings me, finally, to what the career service at Manchester can do to help, which is quite a lot. If you need some help with your profile, we actually have our LinkedIn Academy toolkit, which you can see on the screen. Scan that QR code, go to the website, you'll see there's all sorts of support there available. We also have dedicated appointments for LinkedIn profiles, where one of our members of staff We'll go through a profile with you, have a look, maybe give it a rating and see what you can do to improve it. If that's something that you're maybe not too sure about, please come and have a chat. We're more than happy to help with all these sorts of things. We also have quite a bit of guidance on this on our website and dedicated careers appointments where you can talk about LinkedIn and how to use it for networking, if that's something that you need a little bit of support with and all the other stuff that I've talked about, figuring out what it is you want to do so you can make use of LinkedIn and other websites to kind of find those particular roles that you're interested in. Which brings me to the end. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope that's been helpful. If there's anything within this series or within our YouTube channel or anything careers related in Manchester that you want a bit of help with, please come and see us. You can find us on our website, but also on Career Connect, which you can log into as a student or graduate please come and have a chat. We are more than happy to help and we can help with all the sorts of things I've talked about in this series, but anything else on our channel. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you in another YouTube playlist.